The raining slash is nice. Sounds like a for to me. the I guess that's doing a lot of damage too, but green slash is true. So now I'm learning. I need with your flames attack. and my technique. We're stronger together than we are apart. His attack 15% with all four plus 60 attacks. That's 120, 240. It's a lot of Mega Bomb. Run away! Run away! Run Whose <laughs> explosion is that? This ends now. Consider yourself finished. Will this help? Here I come! Do it! Well, that thing hasn't respawned, but that's okay. We're gonna get items from the enemy's system. Get lost! Last um, Not in your dreams! Last some, some more. There, go. That's supposed to do more damage now. Oh, I Honestly, that raining slash is insane. that monster Nath warned us about, if I had to guess. Do you think this might have been where one of those lights that shot out of the wedge landed? But why this location, if the purpose of the wedge is to harvest Dana's astral energy? We can figure that out later. If that thing gets into town, it's going to cause chaos. We need to take it down and move on. Let's go!
suddenly turning tail doesn't seem so ridiculous. Why? Are you scared? Me? <laughs> Are you? Do you even have to ask? Of course I'm scared. Focus up before we become that thing's lunch. It's summoning Zoogle? Take care of them while keeping an eye on it. Rising Wyvern! Bending you apart! Mega Ray! Anything in armor is all mine! Oh, it looks like you got this one covered! Come on! This is incredible! Oh, more oh, more oh, they smite with Here black and blue! I'll smash you! Burning? Rising Wyvern! Force Blast! Execution! Strike! ass in this battle, I'll tell you that way. He's getting for blasted. I died already. I just brought him out. Oh, 
Shion, why are you over there? I don't know what to do without you. Perhaps now isn't the time. I really don't. You're coming. I don't know if that's a friendly explosion or not. Shouldn't be using fire abilities here right now. Ooh. Finish him off, damn it. Some little mines. Now yeah, watch out, Ringwell. Watch out, everybody. So I'm just gonna ah. use
I'll handle it. Just Alpha. watch and learn. That's enough. Just blow his hand off. Go back down. Oh, is it? Everyone okay? Yeah, I think so. That thing scared the pants off me. It felt like it had a different aura than other Zoogles, didn't it? Yeah. It wasn't like the one that Almadria sicked on us either. Its elemental astral energy variance was out of this world. It was like fighting a lord. I guess it's safe to assume that if it came out of the wedge, it must have played some part in helping harvest astral energy. But what? Perhaps a living spirit vessel? It's plausible, given the location. Or it may be part of a new force dispatched to regain control of Dana. If we assume that monster was one of the four beams of light, we must have prevented something from taking place here. I'd like to think so, knowing how much grief it gave us. But at least with that out of the way, we can keep moving forward now. Let's go. Did you remember something? No, but... I have seen this starship before. This is it. This is the ship I traveled in when I escaped from Lenegas. Three centuries later, and it's no worse for wear. I'll take a look at the internals. Damn! I'm amazed it still works at all after all this time. You just the past get it. meets the present. I really am from a different time and place. Yeah. But you've got us now, Alfin. Not only that, but you've helped out so many people, too. Law's right. Rinwell, too. You're one of us now. No more carrying the weight of history on your shoulders. You're a part of this world. Right. Thanks, you guys. It should fly. All internal systems seem to be operating. However, considering how long it's remained inactive, I suspect it will take some time before it's ready for takeoff. How much time are we talking here? Starship mechanics are not what I'd call my forte, so I'd rather not hazard a guess. So we've just got to sit around here and wait? I'm terrible at waiting. That's because you're a child. Oh, but how about we use this time to prepare and gather supplies for the trip? Good idea. Who knows when we'll be back from Lenegas once we leave. We should prepare ourselves for every possible scenario before we go. Let's try not to stay away too long. I'd hate for anything to happen to the place while we're gone. Either we race ahead, or we take due precaution to ensure we have no regrets. I shall leave it up to you as to how we proceed, Alfin. Works for me. Funny, isn't it? What is? All this. When we first started this thing, did you ever imagine we'd be going to Lenegas? After all, this is the sort of thing I was rebelling against when I ran away from home, right? I'm sure Zephyr would be proud if he knew what his son was doing right now. And a little shocked, too. We're defying the order of things that have persisted for 300 years. <laughs> Deep down, I knew our journey would lead to confronting Lenegas. 
Yeah, you may be, but you're a Renan. The rest of us can barely even picture what it means to leave Dana. No offense to Xion and Dohalim, but it's worth remembering we're heading into enemy territory. No offense taken, and this is no picnic for me either. Remember, our aim is to ensure that both Lenegas and the Renan homeworld leave Dana alone for good. I don't think we'll be able to avoid a fight. Is there no way we can talk them into leaving us alone? The people of Lenegas? Sure. I mean, we found a way to make it work with Xion and Dohalim, right? And it's not just us. If places like Menencia can do it, then why can't because we- Because there are still many of my kind who believe it was right and natural that Rena reigns over Dana. There are those on Lenegas who have never stepped foot on Dana. I doubt whether they'd even listen to Danans. Look, none of us want to fight. But these are the same people who fired that wedge down on Dana. What happens next is on them. Right. We're not going to sit back and wait for them to oppress us again. Right. Don't forget, there's also a good chance the Red Woman is somewhere on Lenegas. And wherever she is, we should find the Renesalma, too. That's right. If we can take it back, then Xion can finally get rid of her thorns. <sighs> Xion? Huh? Uh, yeah. Hmm. They just fall asleep sitting here at the fire. Well, she's like, peace, I'm out. Shion. Shion! It's your thorns? But why? Okay. Just now, it looked like you used your maiden powers to suppress your thorns. You can really do that? Stay out of my way. I mean, she can't kill me doing that. What the hell is this worth shit? Wait a second. Are you planning to go alone? Shut up! Why would you do this? I told you to shut up! I won't let you. I mean it. I refuse to let you. I won't tell you again. Move or I'll shoot. If that's the case... Then go ahead and shoot me! Do you remember back when I was stabbed? By Rolron? Yeah. I thought for sure that he had killed you back there. That wasn't the first time. Huh? The first time was when I was only a child. After that, no matter how often, I just couldn't die. Couldn't die? So you're immortal? How's that even... <clears throat> 
believe you, Xion. But tell me how... How is something like that possible? My thorns... They're me, but at the same time, not. They're part of me. I have no idea why. But my thorns will never let me die. At least not before I'm meant to. You can't die before your death? When my thorns free themselves, it will be my death. <laughs> I've seen it. A darkness that swallows up everything until nothing remains. It's a vision of oblivion I can't escape. I want to believe it's all just a bad dream. But no matter what I tell myself, I... I know it's not. Yeah, but you... Wait. The whole reason you... You needed the Renesalma was to get rid of your thorns, right? If I burn away what's inside, then what will happen to the rest of me? <laughs> right. Either way you look at it, I'm going to die. But if I am going to die, I figure I can at least take my thorns out with me. That's... what I've been after this whole time. That's why you turned your back on your fellow Renans, and chose to fight with us, isn't it? And while we've all been fighting to keep on living, you have been with us fighting desperately to die. That was the plan? But then I met all of you, and I... Before I knew it, I didn't want to die anymore. Shion, don't lose hope yet. We'll find a way to save you. There's still time to. It's pointless. Why? Because the darkness won't just consume me. The truth is, it will consume all of existence as well. It was only a suspicion at first, but ever since the Red Woman triggered my Maiden powers, I've been more certain than ever before. It was then that I finally came to realize my powers were holding my thorns in check the entire time. But they don't anymore. Not since Lenigus, when the Wedge fell. Every day, I feel the Thorn's power growing stronger inside of me. Pretty soon, I won't be able to hold them back anymore. And when that happens... They will consume all existence. <sighs> and that's why you wanted to leave by yourself. You planned to find the Renis Alma on your own, and sacrifice yourself to stop the Thorns. But that's... Too much! It's way too much! When this all began, I didn't care what happened to me or anyone else. And what happened to the Renans or the Danans didn't matter to me at all. I know I have to die, but I don't want to. Not now that I have this. <sighs>
Xion, what do you want? It's your decision, ultimately. But if you decide not to fight fate, I will. Even if I have to do it alone. No, you won't be alone. I'll fight as well. Count me in as well. I want to be a force for good, not hate. And me too. I meant it with all of my heart when I told you before. Neither of you are alone in this at all. You guys. And I, for one, don't believe this venture is without hope. Huh? Xion is the descendant of a maiden from 300 years ago. Given the circumstances, it seems very likely that those it's events have some connection to her thorns. The true nature of which, I imagine we will discover as we make our way to Lenegas and uncover the truth of what's unfolding here. I take it you mean we might find a way to get rid of her thorns and she live? It's certainly possible. Though I suspect the nature of the Sovereign is connected somehow. So be it. I've already lost everything I had once. And I won't let it happen again. No matter what happens from now on, we're right here with you. All of us are. You are not alone. You guys, they're all so stubborn. to this dream and most of all more than anything else I want to be with all of you so let's go on to Lenicus <laughs>